Well, this week, the Toledo Lucas County Health Department is ramping up those opportunities to get a vaccine. Amy Steigerwald live at the health department tonight with details on how you can easily get a shot. Amy. Yeah, Jeff, this coming week, the Toledo Lucas County Health Department will have two opportunities each day at two different locations to simply walk in and get a COVID-19 shot without having an appointment prior. And one of those locations Monday through Friday every day is right here at the health department downtown. Now take a look on your screen right now. We have the list of locations and times where you can do this every day this week from nine to three. You can come to uh, downtown here at the here at the health department or go to the rec center to get a shot. You can simply show up. You don't have to register ahead of time like you have to have done in the past and they will also book your second dose while you are there so you don't have to go back on the website and do it. You will get everything all done there. Now these walk in opportunities come nearly a week after the Johnson and Johnson vaccine got put on a temporary hold and while that vaccine will be reevaluated later on this week, it has created some sort of hesitancy from some people who are already unsure about if they want to get vaccinated or not. Officials with the health department are really hoping these walk in clinics give people an opportunity to get a vaccine if they were hesitant to make an appointment. I'm over 50, so I decide, hey, I'd rather go ahead and get it in risk the not getting it. We know that the vaccine does support protection against COVID, uh, about, about, get, about getting it as well as, you know, um, allowing somebody else to get it from you. Amy, talk to us a little bit tonight about how much that temporary pause of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has impacted those who have continued to be hesitant. Yeah, Jeff, we really won't know quite just yet here locally, uh, but these walk-in clinics that they're having this week could tell us a lot about how much hesitancy the community has regarding getting a vaccine because of that temporary hold. Coming up at 6, I spoke with the president of the NAACP here in Toledo about how they're still pushing for minority communities to have trust in the vaccines that are currently still on the market. Live in downtown Toledo, Amy Stagerwald, WTOL 11.